Into thine eyes gazed I lately, O life. Gold saw I gleam in thy night eyes. My heart stood still with the light. A golden bark saw I gleam on darkened waters. A sinking, drinking, re-blinking golden swing bark. At my dance frantic foot dost thou cast a glance, a laughing, questioning, melting, throne glance. Twice only movest thou thy rattle with thy little hands. Then did my feet swing with dance fury. My heels reared aloft, my toes they hearkened. Thee they would know. Hath not the dancer his ear in his toe? Unto thee did I spring. Then fletst thou back from my bound, and toward me waved thy fleeing, flying tresses round. Away from thee did I spring, and from thy snaky tresses. Then stoodst thou there half-turned, and in thine eye caresses. With crooked glances dost thou teach me crooked courses. On crooked courses learn my feet crafty fancies. I fear thee near, I love thee far. Thy flight allureth me, thy seeking secureth me. I suffer but for thee, what would I not gladly bear? For thee, whose coldness inflameth, whose hatred misleadeth, whose flight enchaineth, whose mockery pleadeth. Who would not hate thee, thou great bindress, in windress, temptress, secress, findress? Who would not love thee, thou innocent, impatient, wind-swift, child-eyed sinner? Whither pullest thou me now, thou paragon and tomboy? And now foolest thou me fleeing, thou sweet romp dost annoy. I dance after thee, I follow even faint traces lonely. Where art thou? Give me thy hand, or thy finger only. Here are caves and thickets, we shall go astray. Halt. Stand still. Seest thou not owls and bats in fluttering fray? Thou bat, thou owl, thou wouldst play me foul. Where are we? From the dogs hast thou learned thus to bark and howl? Thou gnashest on me sweetly with little white teeth. Thine evil eyes shoot out upon me, thy curly little mane from underneath. This is a dance over stock and stone. I am the hunter. Wilt thou be my hound or my chamois anon? Now, beside me, and quickly, wickedly springing, now up and over. Alas, I have fallen myself over swinging. Oh, see me lying, thou arrogant one, and imploring grace. Gladly would I walk with thee in some lovelier place. In the paths of love, through bushes variegated, quiet, trim, or there along the lake where golden fishes dance and swim. Thou art now a-weary. There above are sheep and sunset stripes. Is it not sweet to sleep the shepherd pipes? Thou art so very weary? I carry thee thither. Let just thine arms sink. And art thou thirsty? I should have something, but thy mouth would not like it to drink. Oh, that cursed, nimble, supple serpent and lurking witch! Where art thou gone? But in my face do I feel through thy hand two spots and red blotches itch. I am verily weary of it, ever thy sheepish shepherd to be. Thou witch, if I have hitherto sung unto thee, now shalt thou cry unto me. To the rhythm of my whip! Shalt thou dance and cry, I forget not my whip, not I. 2. Then did life answer me thus, and kept thereby her fine ears closed. O Zarathustra, 
crack not so terribly with thy whip thou knowest surely that noise killeth thought and just now there came to me such delicate thoughts we are both of us genuine ne'er-do-wells and ne'er-do-ills beyond good and evil found we our island and our green meadow we two alone therefore must we be friendly to each other and even should we not love each other from the bottom of our hearts must we then have a grudge against each other if we do not love each other perfectly and that i am friendly to thee and often too friendly that knowest thou and the reason is that i am envious of thy wisdom ah this mad old fool wisdom if thy wisdom should one day run away from thee ah then would also my love run away from thee quickly thereupon did life look thoughtfully behind and around and said softly o oh, zarathustra thou art not faithful enough to me thou lovest me not nearly so much as thou sayest i know thou thinkest of soon leaving me there is an old heavy heavy booming clock it boometh by night up to thy cave when thou hearest this clock strike the hours at midnight then thinkest thou between one and twelve thereon thou thinkest thereon o zarathustra i know it of soon leaving me yea answered i hesitatingly but thou knowest it also and i said something into her ear in amongst her confused yellow foolish tresses thou knowest that o zarathustra that knoweth no one and we gazed at each other and looked at the green meadow o'er which the cool evening was just passing and we wept together then however was life dearer unto me than all my wisdom had ever been thus spake zarathustra three one o oh man take heed two what saith deep midnight's voice indeed three i slept my sleep four from deepest dream i have woke and plead five the world is deep six and deeper than the day could read seven deep is its woe eight joy deeper still than grief can be nine woe saith hence go ten but joys all want eternity eleven want deep profound eternity twelve recording by john van stan savannah georgia this librivox recording is in the public domain